Hi, my name is Freddie. Welcome back to my channel. For my subscribers, thank you for watching. And for those of you that are not subscribed, subscribe and join the fun. The first scrap, we're going to want one of these iron oil warmers, a candle, some foliage, and two of these round plates. The first thing you want to do is paint your plates black. I'm painting one on both sides and on one I'm only painting the bottom. Okay, while I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to get heated up, I am going to take care of my flowers. So I trimmed all my flowers down to like five inches and one at six. And what I'm going to do, let me grab a piece of duct tape first, is I am going to place them just one on top of the other. And then I'm just going to take my duct tape and wrap it around. I'm going to take my jute and just cover up my duct tape. Okay, now my flowers are done. I actually missed a spot. No big deal, you're really not going to see it. So now this is the one I painted just the bottom and I didn't bother painting this because I knew this was going over there. But this is the one I painted on both sides. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put hot glue on top of this and center it on the bottom. And now I'm going to put glue on top of this and put the whole thing on top of this. Before I put my candle on, I'm going to put my flowers in. Now, this is the one that was longer, so when I put it in, I want to slide this one through. And I'm going to angle my flowers like that. And then put my candle on, and it is done. I love this candle holder. It's going to work perfect for Halloween, Christmas, autumn, and the sunflowers is just a bit of summer. For this next craft, you're going to need popsicle sticks, some antique wax, and some jute, and either wood glue or hot glue. I am using wood glue, the Elmer's wood glue, because I love that one. First thing you want to do is you want to take three sticks, and you want to glue them into a, a triangle. You want them to overlap so this edge is on top of this, this edge is on top of this, and then this edge is on top of that. You want to glue that like that, set it up. Hot glue is a lot faster, but I want it to last a while, so I am going to do mine with Elmer's glue, wood glue. Then you want to take, depends if how long you want, you can make your arrow. The shaft of the arrow, the rod, you can make it um, three popsicle sticks long or two popsicle sticks long. I'm going to make this one three popsicles long. So you want to glue two sets like this. Get them perfectly straight though, mine aren't. And then for the feather tail, we want to take two sticks and you best bet is whether you're using hot glue or the wood glue is you want to space them apart evenly. I, think I want mine a little bit shorter, but make sure they're even. And then you want to glue this one like that with these two tips meeting. And the same thing, whoops, this end, and then one in the middle. After you get those, you can raise up your duct tape and get these last two pieces. As long as it's all even and it looks something like that. Okay, you can see my sticks don't line up evenly, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to put some wood glue where these sticks meet together. 
And I know I called this duct tape earlier, but it is masking tape. Now we are going to glue this here. So I need a little bit of glue on here. And I'm going to be covering part of this up with twine. Just make sure it's even. And I so might as well duct tape that. Duct tape again. Um, masking tape. <laughs> Get it even. Now, if you're using hot glue, obviously you don't need the masking tape. And then I am going to glue this on top of this. And when it's all dry, I am going to put antique wax on it. I'm going to put it on kind of dark. Okay, now that my arrow is all stained, I am going to apply jute around here, 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 and here. So to get these two ends, I'm going to take a, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, about that much. I doubt I'll use that much, but just to start off, I'm just going to put a bleed, bead of hot glue right here and get my string in there. Try to go on the outside, try to make an X. And when I do it a few more times, then I'm going to go around. Just like I did on this arrow. You can see how I went back and forth and then I went around. And same thing here, only this time I'm just going to wrap it around here and then I'm going to wrap it up so you can't see it. But this is the one with just two popsicle sticks and this is the one with three popsicle sticks in the middle. Well, actually, four and six, but you can see the size difference. Okay, and then that project will be done. Okay, and here are the finished arrows. I do plan on using that little one for an upcoming project. And the tall one I'm going to hang up and just not sure where. On to the next craft. Okay, so I lost the footage of my supplies I was using, so I'm going to go over again. You want one of these, which I already painted white, and one of these scalloped container, which I painted white also, one bead, which I painted white, <laughs> one of these, some twine, some E6000 hot glue gun, and obviously white chalk paint, and I'm also going to use antique wax. Now that these are dry, I'm going to dry brush some antique wax on there um, just to give it an aged look. And you can tell that I am reusing this again. You can see there's hot glue and I left that on there just because it gives it some character. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to go like this just to, just to give it that aged look. not really going to see the bottom so figure I might as well practice there and I'm going to do this to my container and my candlestick holder okay now that I have put my antique wax you can see I really put too much on I can go back over it with white I am going to start gluing my jute around here Okay, next I'm going to take my, my tag and I'm going to just glue this in place in here. Let me see if I can get hot glue on there. There we go. Try to get it straight. And then I'm going to glue this so that this rest right there. Get all the glue off of there. And then I am going to hot glue this down in here like that. And now I'm going to take my E6000 and put it around here and set this on here and fill it up with foliage and I'll be done. 
And here is the finished project. I did glue the tag down to the container. Now this foliage I used is pretty top heavy. I wanted to add more. So if you want to add heavy weighted foliage, make sure you weigh the bottom of the container down. Okay, and thank you for watching, and to my subscribers, as always, thank you, appreciate you, and to the non-subscribers, subscribe. Until next time, everyone stay safe.